All right, today we're gonna to be taking you through a traditional salsa verde recipe here using tomatillos. The tomatillos, if you're not familiar with these, are essentially Mexican tomatoes that have these husks on the outside of them. We'll need tomatillos, obviously, some cilantro, a little bit of olive oil, salt, some white onion, lemon. Here we're using jalapenos, but you can use poblano peppers or frankly any other peppers that you like and you can optimize your spice level and then some garlic. So the first step's just gonna be removing this husk of the tomatillos and underneath the husk is a really sticky surface. So we're gonna have to wash these just to wash that stickiness off. But you're gonna wanna remove the full husk and take it out of the stem just like that. So now that we've got our tomatillas washed up and nice and dried, we're just gonna transfer them to a sheet here before we take them out to the grill. And what we're gonna be doing is just grilling these until you get a really nice translucent exterior to the tomatilla. And we're gonna throw on our jalapenos to grill those at the same time. But we'll cover them with a little drizzle of olive oil. Now we'll hit them with some salt as well. And now we're just gonna take each of the tomatillas and make sure we've got a nice coating of olive oil around the surface of them. And now we're ready to take these out to the grill. So now we've had our grill on high here, heating up for a little while, and you're gonna wanna put these stem side down. And this should take somewhere between four to eight minutes, depending on the size of the tomatilla, how hot your grill is and we're looking to just get a nice char on these and we'll bring that char flavor into the salsa verde. So we're just gonna check in on these and those grill marks are exactly what we're looking for. You don't have to worry about any char forming on them because that's actually what we're looking for. We're trying to get some of that char flavor into our salsa. Now we're just getting all the sides here. And again, we're just gonna grill these until we've got more of a translucent appearance to the outside of the tomatillas. So these are done, so we're just gonna take them off the grill. So now we're going in with about a cup of cilantro. We really like garlic, so we've got three garlic heads. We're gonna use the juice of one half lemon We'll use the juice of one half lime as well. And then we're gonna use about a half cup of a white onion. And we'll just quickly chop this just roughly. This is gonna be going into a food processor, so you don't need to do anything too fine or particular here. All right, now we're set to make the salsa. So we're just gonna be using our Vitamix here as opposed to a food processor. We'll drop in our tomatillas for the jalapenos. We're just gonna take the tops off before we drop those in. And then our chopped onion, our cilantro, our garlic, the juice of one half lemon, and then the juice of one half lemon. And just strain that through your fingers to make sure you don't get any seeds in here. And now we'll go in with salt and just do this to taste. We usually go in with a few cranks. All right, now we'll put the top on like that. So that took about 20 seconds in the Vitamix and now we're ready to serve. With whatever you have left over, just put it in a little mason jar and that stores away nicely in the fridge. Now there's just one thing left to do and that's the taste test. Mm. That's really good. There's still a little bit of warmth just from grilling the tomatillas. You can really taste the spice from the jalapenos, the garlic flavor, the citrus from the lemon and the lime. It's a really well-balanced salsa, and it's just a nice change from regular red salsa. So if you like this video, give us a like below, consider subscribing, and thanks for tuning in.